So, have you ever had your own website or a client's website that had posts in it, like those default posts that come with WordPress? Of course you did, of course you did. And those posts have categories. And sometimes you want those categories to be clicked, you know, most of the time. If there are categories, you want things to be in the categories. But let me show you the problem here. The problem is, here's my client website. This is, by the way, the live site. Uh, and here we have a blog post and here we have categories. And these categories, uh, you can not click accidentally and hit publish and the post will be published without category. And this is a problem. You want this to be mandatory. You want this to be when you click publish or update, you cannot do it if at least one of these is not clicked. And you want to forbid creating new categories, of course. So uh, if you want to know how to do this, stay tuned. It's coming up. My name is Mr. Gecko, and I'm here to help you create better websites. This channel is all about WordPress, Gutenberg, and the whole design process that comes with it. So, if you're into that, please consider subscribing. So, as you've seen, this is my client's website, and this is the problem. Like, we can uh, opt out from clicking these, and we can even create new category here. And this is a hassle. I don't like this. I don't want this. So. Uh, let me show you here down below. Oh, actually, let me go to the left side. There we go. Uh, now, I have created a, this is a field group. This is created with a plugin and I named it post categories, like to, to make it even sound better, like this is a post and post categories. So if I expand this, as you can see, this is mandatory and you have to click one of these. And these are the same as these categories. Like I just uh, reuse them. It, it's not like creating another uh, taxonomy. This is the same taxonomy. I've just made it being filtered through this plugin and adding it as mandatory. And then for my client, for, for their account that they're managing, I disable this, they don't see these categories, so they can only uh, see this one and they have to click it. So uh, let me show you how how I did this. So of course, I'm using advanced custom fields. You can also use Metabox, you can also use Toolset, you can, you can use things, but I'm not actually sure, can you create field groups in which you can make uh, existing taxonomy as mandatory? I didn't check that. So I have custom post type projects and normal post type posts. And this one has uh, categories and tags and projects have more custom uh, uh, taxonomies like categories. Uh, these are separate categories only for projects and uh, then type of types of work systems, glass types, locations. How can I have categories here and categories here and being different? Well, it's a different slug. I just have it named categories the same. So this is probably named project categories or something like that. So it's done by custom post UI. Actually, we can go and see uh, what I did here. Uh, where are the existing ones? Okay, so uh, basic setting, oh, sorry, uh, view taxonomies. So here, as you can see, yeah, project category. This is something that I've added. So that one is under the projects. But uh, you can do also with existing. It's like uh, I'm, I'm going to show you here how it's done, either with new taxonomy or existing taxonomy. So we go to cu advanced custom fields. This is a free plugin. I'm not using pro version. So I have post categories and project properties. So I'm going to go into field group post categories. And here, uh, well, we can define multiple fields here. For example, if I go to the other one, uh, project properties. So for project properties, I have named uh, uh, different, uh, different taxonomies or fields uh, with names. But here, since I'm using a trick, uh, I'm, I'm actually doing a trick here, let me go to the left again. Uh, 
categories here. I want to name it as post categories. Like when I have projects and many, many of these fields inside, it makes sense to write project properties and then list those properties. But here I just have just one thing, which is categories. So it's better. It's uh, instead of writing categories here and categories here, I wrote post categories here. And then at least one choice is required, you know, just to, to let them know that, that, that it's mandatory, you know, so that is it. But uh, that's the naming convention here. <laughs> so this one is uh, actually categories. So uh, field name, uh, I'm using taxonomy, and I'm selecting category, not project category, the normal one that that already exists with WordPress. And I'm saying it's a checkbox. And uh, somewhere here, I have it. Re yes, required. Yes. So this is actually only thing that we're using from advanced custom fields. The only reason we're doing all this hassle is actually to check this as required to make it appear through advanced custom fields and be required. Uh, so actually, uh, location is normal post type is equal. The post type is equal to post. So it appears on posts. So yeah, the rest is the rest is history. So yeah, that's that's the only thing you need to do. And uh, me as an admin, I can edit this, but normally they wouldn't be able to do this. So let me actually go and create a new post and let's see how it goes. Uh, new post. So I'm going to give it a title and just try to save because title will be needed. So this is a test title. So let me hit publish. As you can see, no category is selected. Uh, no category is selected. Hit publish. Validation failed. One field needs attention. Yep, this is it. Gotta make those category clicked. And there you go. This is how you do it. Advanced custom fields can do it. Uh, I'll actually check Metabox. Metabox lately has been doing amazing. Uh, it has done some new integrations and it has it had lifetime deals. So a lot of people now bought it and are trying to use that one instead of everything else. And that plugin can create custom fields, can create custom post types and taxonomies, whatever, all in one. So I'm going to check that one. Can they actually do required fields? I'm actually 99% they can, but I, I, I have to just make sure. Uh, but I'm going to make few Metabox tutorials. And uh, yeah, uh, if you're into this content, uh, everything WordPress and Gutenberg and the whole design process, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Be subscribed and uh, tell someone who might benefit from this. Uh, more videos coming soon and see you in the next one.